Okay, welcome to another SQLite video. Today we're going to talk about views and we're going to create a view in our SQLite database. If you don't know what a view is, we're going to go over that as well, so don't worry. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future you might find entertaining or useful or a combination of the two. And this is going to be a continuation of our series, which is all in one playlist, so you can check out that if this is the first video that you're seeing. Because this is going to continue on from the last video, which is us going over joins. And basically we're going to create a view based on that join statement that we came up with in the last video. And if you're wondering what is a view, I went here because they'll describe it better than me. They say in SQL, a view is a virtual table based on the result set of a SQL statement. In other words, you can think of it as just like a table, though every time you query it, it will run a query that the view is based off of to get you the results. And that might not make sense, uh, until you see it. So let's go ahead and create a view. So if we remember in the last video, we went ahead and created this join statement, which we joined two different tables together. We joined the people table and we joined the NFL teams table based on a link of ID in the people table to people ID in the NFL teams table. And this is the result. We have people's first names and then their favorite NFL team and so what we can do is we can create a view based on this select statement and it'll create for us this virtual table that then we can query that virtual table in the future instead of having to write out this join each and every time we want to know about this data. So the syntax for creating a view goes like this. It's create view and then we'll give it some kind of name. So I'm just gonna call it fave underscore team and then as and then following as is our select statement. In our case, like I said, the select statement is going to be that join. So now if we run this, we'll have a new view called fave team. We can see the query executed successfully and we go to our database structure here in our DB browser. We have a new view called fave team. And if we browse the data and we switch it to that view, it looks and acts just like a table. But what's going on underneath is every time we query this fave team view, it will execute the SQL statement right here to get us the data of this view. And so if I wanted to, let's add to the NFL teams table and let's give person number four an NFL team and then we'll see how the view, once we browse it again after the fact, it gets updated, the new data. So if we hit new record here and let's think of a team, maybe the Colts. And this is person ID four. I'll go ahead and write those changes and if we switch to the fave team view, now we can see there's a new record in this view because it requeried. It said, hey, the NFL teams table has this new record that correlates to a person via that join. And we see Susan's favorite team is the Colts. And so this join that we base this view off of is a perfect example of what a view can be. Because sure, we could run the select statement each and every time and get the same results but this makes it simpler. Cool, so that's how you can create a view in SQLite. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.